Hey YouTube, it's your girl Rachel and this is going to be a video on what styling tools do you need to maintain your short hairstyles. Of course, I know you guys know the basics, but I just want to share with you all the items that I use throughout maintaining my hairstyle. Number one, you will need a rat tail comb. I think that's what they call these. I don't know, but you'll need like a skinny comb for sure. Next is the, it's a rat tail comb, no, wrapping comb. I'm not sure what kind of comb you call this, but I like to use it when I don't want to necessarily comb out my curl. So I'll use the wider side. Don't talk about my brush y'all, but I like to use one of these hard bristle brushes so you can brush the back of your hair when you're trying to lay it, <laughs> when you're trying to lay it down. This is by far my favorite foaming lotion that I've ever tried in life. I don't care if your hair is short, long, whatever you're trying to do, this is like liquid platinum. It's not even liquid gold. It's like liquid, liquid platinum. This is the Nairomi Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion. I mean, if you're in between relaxers, this gets your hair bone straight. I don't know what they put in here. But it gets your hair bone straight and it actually gives you like a little shine. But this is awesome. No flaking. Um, I've never overused it, but you can, I guess. But this is like the bomb. If you can't find it in your local beauty supply, you can always find it on Amazon.com. And while you're wrapping your hair, you will need some wrapping paper. I really like the um, black wrapping paper the best. Um, it's a little bit more firm. You can get away with two sheets. I usually use three sheets at a time, but um, of course you can buy this from Sally's or your local beauty supply. So after you mold your hair, you wrap it up so everything can lay flat while you sit under the dryer. Speaking of dryers, if you are savvy on doing your own hair, you, you have to have a dryer at home. You have to have a dryer. So I use a bonnet dryer. And as you can see, here's the bonnet. And then there's the hose and I, <laughs> my hose is broken. I've had this dryer for a long time and I just like don't want to buy a new one because I have a little ghetto setup. I'm not going to show you the ghetto setup, but it, it's working for me. Eventually I know this hose is going to just break off. Um, but yeah, here's the base of the bonnet dryer. I think this is, um, let's see. There was a lid on here. Of course, that broke off a long time ago. I believe this is golden hot, but I'm not going to show you my ghetto setup. I like the bonnet dryer much better than the hood dryer because you have a little bit more, what's, this, what's the word? You can kind of move around a little bit more. You can't move around that much because, of course, this is plugged into the wall, but a hood dryer is like you're just trapped. Like the bonnet dryer, you can sit on your bed, you can sit in your reclining chair, you can sit in a chair, you can sit on the floor. But like the hood dryer, it's like once you get it set up, you have to sit there. Like you can't put it on your bed because it won't sit on your bed. And I've never been able to like adjust the hood right. It's never like tall enough for, I don't know, just nicks on the hood dryers that they sell. I mean, of course, some people like them. I don't. I always use argon oil because it's very light. I am not like an oil person. I really don't like to put anything on my hair. Um, but this is very, very light. So I use this. And I use the Sebastian Shaper for hairspray. It's a light hairspray. It does not leave your hair hard or flaky or just hard and yucky. So I totally use this hairspray because it's light. I also use by Design Essentials this liquid shine. It smells really good, number one. And then number two, it gives like your hair a little shine to it. Uh, so, you know, your hair looks healthy and it looks good. You know, kind of like how my hair looks right now. <laughs> but yeah, I like this too. By no means am I like a professional, but I do like to do whatever I can to maintain my look. Yes, I go to the hair salon. Since my hair is short, I do go. I don't go as often as some people might go like I can get away with once a month I can get away with once every two months and when I'm in a good mood I might go every two weeks but it just really depends um, but to keep my the back of my head up I have this little clipper it's the peanut wall I got this from Sally's years ago it comes with 
different guards if you're you know so you don't cut your hair so low it comes with i think four or five but this is all i can find right now and all you do is just attach the guard on and there you go and you just you know shape up your hair your sides however you feel comfortable doing most definitely test each guard out before you just go for the gusto because if you have no guard it's just gonna and just cut, you know cut your hair off so we don't want any baldy spots or anything like that so and i also use this to shape up micah's um hairline in between haircuts because he has a widow's peak and he does not like his widow's peak so i also use this but again i'm not a barber not trying to be but to maintain my hairstyle i definitely recommend to get a clipper set lastly and most importantly you must have some flat irons I have this teeny tiny flat iron. I believe this is a half an inch. Got this from Sally's. And I have this, and this is a one inch Hot Tools um, flat iron. I got this from a store. I don't know what it's called anymore because it went out of business. But you got to have these two items to style your hair. If your hair is short, short, this is what you use. Yes, I've seen them bigger than this, but hey, I like the way this curls. It was cheap. It does what it does. There's no temperature gauge. It's an on-off switch. So I'm sure it's probably 400 degrees. And of course, you know, on the bigger flat irons, there's temperature gauges. And I use about 380 or so. But this is for the top part of my head that's longer. So yeah, definitely invest in some decent flat irons that you like. That flat iron straight in curl your hair. Okay, I lied. That was not the last thing. Of course you have to go to bed, right? Um, no matter what I use, my hair really never just stays. But you have to put something on your head or it'll be standing on the top of your head and you'll look like a fool and it'll take you forever to get ready for work or school or just to get out the house. So I have this. This is like another wrapping thing. I'm not going to put it on, of course. Um, you put it. You can put it on this way or you can put it on this way and Velcro it to the front ghetto bandana <laughs> bonnet some people like bonnets and of course another scarf another another scarf so i usually just wear this and the top of my head hair is out but i don't sleep that crazy for my hair just to be standing up on the top of my head and you can get all these from sally's or your local beauty supply so hopefully I helped you on what products you might want to try out some stuff you may have already been using or you had no clue but I hope hopefully this video was helpful and thank you guys for watching and I'll check you guys out soon on my next video please check out my last video the two-part quick weave tutorial I was just trying something different mm, it didn't last too long <laughs> Which you guys know, your girl is a Gemini. I love to switch it up. But I, I kind of find that I've fallen in love with my short hair. So I might trim it a little bit shorter um, next time I go to the hair salon. I'm not real sure. But we'll see. Thanks for watching. Peace.